Uh, welcome back to Good Morning Arizona. You know, recently we've all seen the incidents of terrorism overseas, like the attack on the London Bridge, for example. And it's causing this to be a time of increased uncertainty for many Americans who have plans to travel abroad over the summer, as the State Department has also issued a travel warning. So how do we stay safe yet still enjoy our family time and make sure that we are informed of the very latest that's going on in the world? Well, Arizona Attorney General Mark Rinovich is vid visiting us this morning. He just got back from his own family vacation overseas. Uh, quite an incredible trip. I feel like I should have brought a globe to actually try to demonstrate uh, to everybody where you were. Yeah, well, thank you very much, Olivia. <laughs> it was great. We went to we went to Italy and to Montenegro, and my family's ethnic roots are in Montenegro, and it's a very small country. They just joined NATO, so they were very very happy to see me, and I met with the president there. You the, met with the president. Yes. I'm looking at your Twitter for <laughs> some of the family photos. Oh, there he is, just handshaking yes, with but, the president, the, getting interviewed by national television, w w which was a lot of fun. It was funny. I will, I will tell you that I was. In the airport in Montenegro, it's a small airport, and someone came up to me after security and said, "Are you Mark Brnovich?" And I was like, "Yes." And they're like, "Hey, I saw you on the news." You're and so I was, so it, was, it was it was a lot of fun. It was it was great. The people, folks there, I mean, they they roll out the you know you go to eat at someone's house and they don't want you to leave. You'll be it's like, it's like being in Spain. Yeah. You know, it's, you're there three four hours, and it's it's just it's a wonderful experience. So let's talk about for the rest of us who may be traveling abroad. And we're not going to be meeting with the president of any nations that we're visiting. Um, what do you what do you recommend for to keep in mind? I mean, you hear these these warnings from the State Department being issued, and it seems like a lot of red flags. And it. it seems like gosh, you know, you hear people having conversations. Maybe they should change their plans, cancel their plans. What do you recommend? Well, first and foremost, this is this is not the first time we've been to Europe, and we usually try to get away, try to go somewhere where people can't get a hold of me with mm -hmm. a cell phone or you know via email, so we can have a little downtime and. Look, we, we can't let terrorists yeah. affect our lives and what we do, because then they win. That, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't be vigilant. Okay. So, for example, I'll tell you what, when we travel, one of the things you can do is you can check the State Department website. You can check the website of the country you're going to to see if there's any specific alerts, any threats. You can register with them so you yeah. can get emails and texts if something happens. But have a plan. You know, what we did is even when we were there with our kids, and our kids are old enough where, you know, they're 16 and about to turn 14 mm -hmm. where um, you know we made sure that if something happened or if we got lost this is where we're going to meet okay. you know meet here at like the bottom of the hour the top of the hour um, when you're in large crowds just be be alert be mm -hmm. vigilant um, you know one of the things um, if you want to blend in you know one of the things one of my good uh, friends who's a security expert told me is one thing you notice about Americans especially in Europe like they're the only people who wear baseball caps and I never really ah. thought too much of this last time I noticed everyone I saw in Rome wearing baseball caps who seemed to be speaking English and so you know, there's little things you can do to maybe blend in a little bit more and um, you know I'll, I'll be frank with you that you know the State Department warnings talk about you know possible you know places that yeah. might be dangerous including you know, transportation hubs mm -hmm. and so you know one of the things we did this time when we were in Rome you know we stayed at a hotel near downtown where we could either walk or take cabs okay. to everywhere where we didn't have to take the subway or metro mm -hmm. like you know we, we've done in the past and so you know maybe that's just a little thing but that was one of the things we did and you know you know having a plan you know being vigilant um, making sure you have a you bring your phone with you so you okay. can communicate with each other get alerts and set um, it up so yes. that you know that it's going to be reliable while yeah there. exactly and, and one thing I think that everyone should know is that this last time and maybe it was a coincidence um we've like I said we've been to Europe several times and getting in like the customs mm -hmm. you know the immigration line um visa line um into Rome was the longest we had ever seen and so oh, we had gone okay. through it twice you know on the way in the first time and then on the way back through and we went through back from Montenegro mm -hmm. and it was really long and so plan on lines um, in Rome there was a lot of increased security okay. there was there was a military presence you know around the major tourist attractions and you know. appreciate it don't resent it yes right? it's, absolutely it's there so that we can enjoy the vacation absolutely absolutely and so there there was there was you know armed literally military uh -huh. personnel not only police officers but military personnel around you know for example around the Vatican or around you know Trevi Fountain yeah. a lot of the other mm -hmm. big touristy spots there and so um, there, there was definitely a presence there and I think that's part of that they want to make people feel secure and they just want to make sure that they're watching to see if anything's going on heightened awareness and maybe visiting those most popular attractions in the off hours when uh, the crowds are not there as much and avoiding yeah, the transportation you know, and, and, during and, and, that and, and the thing times. is in, in a lot of places like like Rome for example you know it's notorious for pickpockets yeah. and so so you should kind of you be, need to be alert you, anyway you need to be alert anyway when yeah, they're so coming up to give you that rose, yes, you gotta exactly, be. Exactly, <laughs> they're yeah. not giving it to you. Exactly. Uh, thank you so much, and uh, welcome back. Glad you had a safe and, and memorable uh, trip. Thank you so much for having me. Incredible as pictures. Hobnobbing with the presidents. Gosh, Tess is standing by with a look at.